uh, have been following this pretty closely. And I want to read you a quote from Thomas Petterfee. He's the founder of Interactive Brokers. And he said yesterday on Closing Bell that we have come dangerously close to the collapse of the entire system, and the public seems to be completely unaware of that, including Cong Congress and the regulators. I think you have a bit more of a sanguine view of this, but what do you think of what Thomas said? Oh, oh boy, come on. I mean, look, there, there was huge volatility, something that no one could have foreseen, but what would it take one day for the system to sort of reset? Remember when... When the stock went up so, so high, it, people need to put up the money. The, the securities firms need to put up the money to make sure if you buy and sell a security, you get paid. And would that take one day? Sure, Robinhood had to put up an extra $3 billion, something they hadn't thought of. But in the end, one day of the market sort of resetting itself, making sure everyone had the money and then moving forward, I think we came dangerously close to proving how amazing the U.S. financial services section, sector really is. You know, there are some retail investors who are very angry about this, though, who thought that they were getting into a deal where they'd be able to trade as much as they want on these things, maybe didn't understand the rules. What would you say to them? Well, I, I think, look, they are right to be disappointed because the fact that Robinhood did not have enough money to keep itself going for that extra day was really, you know, in, in this sort of wild uh, swings, it was really difficult for these investors and, and very, very tough for them. But the fact is, Robinhood just didn't have the money to put up. I mean, all the Wall Street firms had to put up money. All anybody who trades stocks had to put up money. Canada Fitzgerald had to put up more money because, let's face it, stocks were really volatile. So I think it's just, it was disappointing for them and very difficult for them. But let's face it, Robinhood just didn't have the money on that day. They got the money in a day. Very impressive. And, uh, and they were back up and running the next day. But it was tough for a lot, a lot of people. And uh, they have a right to be angry. So what would you tell Congress as they start delving into this and as the regulators start prying a little more? Are there areas in the market that you think could use a little extra regulation? Or do you worry that that is going to change things the way business is done? I mean, look, it was, it was crazy. I mean, when you short a stock, there's a common thought that when you short a stock, you can only make this much money when it goes to zero but you could lose an infinite amount. I think everybody just learned what that means. Infinite amount means a stock that could go from four, could go to 400. And those people who lost their tails, these short positions, lost their tails, maybe they'll think uh, better next time before they short it. But no, I think the market performed brilliantly. Yes, did, uh, did Robinhood need to close for a day, but did it do a good job and get back up and running the next day? I, I think... Uh, when, when it's all said and done, you should be very, very impressed with the way the U.S. financial system worked. A stock went from four to 400, and uh, it worked all but one day. Bummer for the day. It's still impressive. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.